Hello and welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about tents and in particular, my top five tents that I've owned and used. Have I already done this video before and forgot to turn the microphone on? Yes. Am I going to be able to get through it again with the same charm and fluidity? Probably not, but we're going to do it anyway. It's top five, my top five tents. I've owned quite a few tents in my time. And I currently own a few tents. So I've got about 10. It's too many. I own too many tents. But uh, So I thought it would be fun because a lot of people reach out to me and, and ask me which tent I prefer out of X and Y and Y. So I thought I would just do a little video to run down for you. Run down the tents. And I've made a little list. little listy for Columbus. And uh, you'll be surprised. There's some shockers in there. There's some. There's some shockers that I don't think you'll uh, that you'll that you'll expect. So without further ado, let's get straight into it at number five. And hopefully, if I've done it properly, I've put some graphics in there as well. So number five for me, it's a newcomer just in, is the Big Agnes Copper Spur. It ain't even that. Don't cut no, don't go. Come back, come back, come back. Like, look, let's start again. Let's start again. Let's start again. Number five, right? Number five is the Vango Banshee 200. Of course, it is. I could not, I couldn't not have that in my list. A, a wonderful tent that holds some wonderful memories for me. It's the tent that I always say to people who ask me, what tent shall I get from starting wild camping? Get yourself a Van Gogh Banshee, mate, because as I sit here this very day, they retail at £139. I think I picked mine up for about 85 quid, but this was about <clears throat> 10 years ago or something. I'm only going to say the weight and the cost of these tents. Um, I might put the the stats on the screen for you so you can pause it and have a little look at your leisure the weight 2.4 kilograms which for me i think that's the standard is about two kilograms for a tent that you're not going to be doing multi-day hikes <clears throat> like you know one or two one or two days in the in the mountains or just out in your tent <laughs> then i think around the two kilogram mark is about what you what you want or what you're gonna get and it's a great tent. It's got two doors. It, it it sets up really quickly, really easy. I use mine. I give mine to people who, who I take camping with me sometimes. I say, look, you know, newbies who've never used them. I say, just use that. Really easy to use. And, and I get good feedback from it, from everyone who uses it. It's a little bit like Marmite, this tent, though. So, you know, on certain forums and Reddit posts and stuff, some people don't like it. <clears throat> Maybe because it's the underdog. You know, it's only a cheap and and whatever tent, but I like it. I've got a lot of time for it, and so it's number five on my list. Coming in at four. I've put three fingers up there, but four. It's not going well, is it? Number four is actually the Big Agnes Copper Spur HVUL2. A, B, C, D, F, G, hashtag... Smiley face emoji, Big Agnes Copper Spur. <laughs> Damn. Just in. Just in. I mean, I've re only recently purchased this tent. Um, It comes in at £384.99. And it weighs 1,268 grams. So 1.2 kilograms. That's quite, that's quite good, actually. That's very good. It's very light for what it is. And I've just been out in it again. I've just got back the other day um, and I've just finished editing a video. It's pretty long. It's nearly an hour long. <laughs> but I've been out in it again and I was just loving it. I've got myself the footprint for it as well. So you can put it up outer first in case it rains, which I did while I was out. It was a bit of a chew, but that'll get easier in time, I think. <clears throat> but the feeling, the overall feeling of quality that I get when I get in this tent with its high doors and its 
the zips and the everything about it just screeches quality. Wakes you up at middle at night and just screams quality into your face while you're having sleep paralysis. It's good. It's very good. And I'm enjoying it so much so that it's made number four on my list. A new a new kid on the block. So I wouldn't say it was a I wouldn't say it was a, a first time attempt because it's a lot of money for you know for something if you're not going to be getting into it. So it's maybe more your your second or third tent and it's not particularly built for high winds unless you've got your hiking poles and extra guy lines to strengthen the sides I wouldn't say it would be brilliant in high winds I've had it out in high winds and it was kind of folding in on me but there's just something about it that I really really love and that's why double check it's number four number three on the list I have to look at the list. Right, this one is a shocker. This one is a surprise. It's going to be a, it's going to be a surprise for some. This number three on the list is the Hilleberg Alak Two, which I'm sure a lot of people thought would be number one, but it's not. Why not? Well, I'll tell you why. Because let me tell you the cost of it without a footprint as I sit here now, is £1,164.99 English hard-earned pence. It's too much for a tent. It is too much for a tent. It's too expensive. The weight of it... Let's have a quick goose. The weight of it is also, as well, is 3,076 grams. So it's a tank. It's a bit of a tank. My friends and family all chipped in for my birthday... And bought me the Hilleberg Alak 2. So it means a lot to me. And it is... It's a quality tent. I've had some amazing adventures in it. And it will be in my tent collection for life. I'll still use it. I think it's an amazing tent. And anybody who owns a Hilleberg or has used a Hilleberg, you know that they're quality. The materials, the zips, the you know everything about it. The stitching, the customer service... You know, they are considered the best for a reason. They're amazing, amazing tents. But there's, why is it third then? It's because it's too expensive and it's a bit cliquey as well. The Hilleberg group, <laughs> people who've got Hillebergs, it seems a bit cliquey and like, I, I think about it sometimes of like, it, people think, saying that, you know, you know, are you really a wild camper? Have you got a Hilleberg? It's, you, you, you're considered to be serious if you've got a Hilleberg. Um, which it used to be the case. I remember, like, back in the day, it was very rare that people would have Hillebergs. It would be like, oof, they're serious. Now, I mean, the fells in the Lake District are just... Li <laughs> they're littered with them. Littered with them. And so, I don't know. It's just a feeling I get when I think about it. I do love the tent, and I, you know, one day maybe I'll get another Hilleberg to test it out. I do think they're a great tent, but the cost and the weight of this one, for me, puts it at number three. Number two on the top five list, coming in at number two, is the Terra Nova Wild Country Helm 2. There, I've said it. The Helm 2. Which, let me just quickly tell you how much it costs. It's £163.95. So what's that against the Hilleberg? You can get seven. You can get seven Helm 2s for the cost of a, an Alak 2, which is nuts, mate. That's a lot of tents. That's a, that's a tent. You can use one a, one a day for a week. Every week, different. every day, different tent. Let that sink in. The weight of it. It's not shy. It's around, yeah, it's 2.2 kilograms. So, it's a lot lighter as well than the Alak 2. The reason it's so high on my list is a few reasons. It's cheap. It's one of the easiest tents to set up and take down that I've ever known. It's just two poles slid in. Peg it out, done. Very easy to set up, take down. Two doors. It doesn't feel as good a quality when you're in it as the Alak 2 or 
the copper spur or anything like that, but it feels robust and it just feels... I mean, it's okay, let's just say that the, the Alak 2 is a Hollywood blockbuster. The Helm 2 is more of a cult classic. That's how I'm looking at it anyway. It's my cult classic. And I've had some amazing, amazing adventures in it. That's what's put it up there as well, is just... Oh, yeah, I've had some absolutely great campouts in it, and it reminds me of some amazing times. And that is why the Helm 2 is at number two. Right, here we go. I was going to do that note. Right, what's number one on my list of tents? I think you all know because it hasn't appeared on the list so far, so you'll probably know. Number one, numero uno for me as I sit here now. It could change tomorrow, could change in an hour, but for now, it is the Lanshan Pro 2. In fact, I'll just put, a, put some clapping noise over that, actually, instead of just me clapping. It, yeah, it has to be, mate. For me, at the moment, it has to be. Let's get it some vital statistics up. So you can pick one up for about 150 quid. So it's cheap as chips. The weight of it is 915 grams. Super lightweight. Yes, you will need hiking poles to set it up or sticks if you're in the woods. But if you're going to be hiking long distance, I assume you're going to have them poles on you anyway. And and as long as you've got light poles, it's I wouldn't I don't, don't mind take hiking with the poles even if I'm not using them just to set the tent up. It's super spacious. It's Difficult to set up at first, it can be very tricky to get a decent pitch, but once you know the heights of your poles and how it all works out, I can chuck this thing up in a couple of minutes, take it down in a couple of minutes as well, no bother. It does need seam sealing yourself, which could be a negative of it, but that doesn't take much time and that sort of stuff I do enjoy doing anyway. Um, so I've seam sealed it, put some metal clips on, like them, I don't know, like look like ram head clips um, where the plastic ones were that are notoriously weak or can be weak. Tents, for me, it's about the memories that they give you and the things that you're doing them. So your favourite tent might be a six-man, two-bedroom tent that you only ever use on in paid campsites, but the memories it holds far outweigh the cost of it and the weight of it and all that sort of stuff. So it's individual to you. And... I, the reason, the sole reason my Lanshan Pro 2 is at the top of my list is because of the Cape Wrath Trail. It performed unbelievably for me on that trip. And to, to you know, some days, like one of the days I did 26 miles and this was late on in the in the thing. It was like day 13, no, I don't know. Day, day 11 or 12, I think it was. I did 26 miles and... To then, after all that, get into a tent and lay down in it, mate, it is a vibe. It's a feeling. And every night after walking and trekking, you get to the end of the day and you're just knackered. And to put that tent up and get in it was just a dream. And I associate that feeling with that tent. So it'll forever be scorched in my brain as, as one of the best tents I've ever had. And at the moment, probably the best tent that I own for that reason. It's not, you know, I wouldn't it's I wouldn't take it up in the mountains in winter necessarily. Or you know, there's certain things you wouldn't use it for, but it's just the memories for me are amazing with it. It's cheap, easy to set up, it's lightweight, and for me, easily my number one tent. There we go. There we go, top five. So yeah, it just boils down to, I think a lot of it just boils down to memories in it and things that you've done in your tents. So there's your takeaway from it. I have been out in the Big Agnes recently. I've got a video ready to go. This is just sort of like a filler video of my top five tents. The the uh, I've got a big camping video. It's almost an hour long, which is a bit too much in it, to be fair, but that's how it is. So if you're not already, consider hitting the subscribe button down there. Click the bell notification to be notified when that video drops. And that's it. Love to you all. I'll see you all soon. Au revoir for now. I'm not going to walk off because uh, I don't have any pants on.
Take it out.